hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using adobe photoshop with any further i do let's get started now go to your file select new then over here i'm going to use a5 paper size which is already here and my resolution is going to be 300 then i'm going to use rgb color mode for post on social media then over here then you click on great to begin all right so this is our working background and the next thing to do now i'm going to my test document to copy the color code i'm going to use so over here i'm going to copy this one Control plus c and the color i'm going to use here is going to be a gradient color so now go to your gradient and click on it then i'm going to select my color and Control plus v to to paste then go back again and i'm going to copy the circle one over here and select this one then open it Control plus v to paste and over here i'm going to increase the opacity to 100 percent okay then click ok on that and go back again over here then you will see the angle so i'm going to copy this angle and come to this place then Control plus v so you can see the direction of the angle now and i'm going to click ok for that so having done with this, so the next one, I'm going to copy this color code again, then Ctrl plus C to copy, then go to your solid color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. So over here is our solid color. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to linear bond. So you can see the outcome now, so before and after. All right, now I'm going to zoom in this way. So having done this one now, so the next one now to do, then I'm going to bring my logo, reduce the size, and I will position it over here, then click OK. So the next thing, go to your test document, and I'm going to copy the heading Control plus c to copy then select your test tool then click on it and Control plus v to paste then change the alignment to left all right then bring it down and over here i'm going to make use of this font railway so i'm going to copy it Control plus c to copy then go to your font and I'm going to paste the font over there. Then here I'm going to select medium on it. Then click OK. And over here I'm going to reduce this font size. Then bring it over here. Then continue to reduce the font size your desire then over here then i'm going to open the space and reduce the font size all right then apply Control plus a and click on this particular alignment to centralize it then Control plus d to deselect you can now adjust your church logo then on this church logo, I will come back to this background here. Then and I'm going to draw a rent angle over here. Something like this. Then leave the color white. And I'm going to rasterize it. Then select your, your polygon lasso tool. And over here, I'm going to click 
this way and click here then join it together and i'm going to delete it then ctrl plus d to deselect so now you will have something like this okay then you can also increase the size of your logo a little so this is the outcome of it so i'm going to leave it this way then proceed and over here i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'm going to drag it down over here then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to open this one and uh, over here i'm going to change it to capital letter so you can see so anyone you want to then i'm going to make use of this one over here then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect something like this i'm going to leave it over there okay so the next thing go back to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste bring it over here then i'm going to turn this one off and now make it bold and uh, over here i'm going to reduce the character spacing to 100 or 120 so i'm going to leave it at this 100 so i'm going to leave it at 100 minus 100 then you can reduce the size this way it's okay then ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect now then i'm going to apply the text effects on this one so then go to your your blending option then over here go to bevel and emboss and the depth i'm going to use here so you can see over here the depth is 63 so this is what i'm going to use and the size is 109 that is 109 then also then i'm going to to apply a satin over here so you can see the satin over there so the the opacity over here is 50 then the distance is 208 and the size over here is 250 then i'm going back to this bevel and emboss so over here then i'm going to reduce the size to 35 to 35 and i'm going to leave it that way so now what i'm going to do next then i'm going back to the outer glow over here then on this outer glow then leave it at leave the color black as you can see over here then the blending mode is multiply and the opacity is 100 percent then you leave it like this and over here the size is 4 so leave this setting you are seeing over here okay then we go to shadow then the blending mode is normal and the color is black then opacity is 100 percent and the distance is 5 
the spread is 3 and the size is 10 okay so i'm going to leave it like this now and i'm going to click ok so you will have something like this then now i'm going to duplicate this one Control plus J to duplicate then and I will drag it down like this then highlight it Control plus A to highlight come over here then I'm going to copy this one Control plus C to copy then Control plus V to paste so then as you can see I'm using the font railway then I will use my arrow key then to move it up like this so i want it to be to be on top like this all right so now i'm going to duplicate this one Control plus j to duplicate and now we hold my shift key while drag it down also use your arrow key then to place it on top now highlight it Control plus a to highlight come over here and i'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy then Control plus v to paste then I'm going to reduce the size of this one somehow little this way and now we bring it to the middle here. Then I'll position it over there then click OK. Alright, now what I will do now, I'm going to select these ones together and I'm going to paste it. Control, I mean I'm going to um, group it together then and over here i'm going to rename it as present so anything i want to do it will be easier easier for me than to create any other amendment so now i'm going to leave it this way then zoom in so that you can see it properly then we move further over here i'm going to copy the team control plus c to copy then select your test tool and then control plus v to paste now and i'm going to change this font and the font i'm going to use here is this all right then go to your front here and over here is the font so i'm going to select it then also, I'm going to remove this character spacing to 0%. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. So I'm going to leave it like this. Okay. Now on this one, I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then the drop shadow here, I'm going to use this setting over here without interrupting it then you click on ok then now i'm going to duplicate this one Control plus j then move it and drag it or position it around here then select your test tool and i'm going to remove this one and leave this one all right so the next thing i'm going back to my test document so this is the one i cut and this is the one I'm going to make use of now. Then you copy this one, Control plus C to copy. Now select your test tool and then Control plus V to paste. So over here, I'm going to change this font to slope script. So over here, this is what you have on this. Now I'm going to scale it out. Then we zoom out now to see how it's going to be before I make any other adjustment. So over here, I think I'm going to leave it this way for now. Then and this one, I'm going to bring it, bring it down this way. And this test here, I'm going to increase it a little this way. And now we bring it down. And position it around here. 
think it's okay over there all right so having done this one this way so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to select my rent angle and i'm going to draw a rent angle over here like this then change the color to red and i'm going to copy this test over here ctrl plus c to copy then you select your test to the ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font to railway and make it bold now reduce the font size now we position it over here all right then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and now we bring this one down then highlight it then go back to my test document and i'm going to copy this one then ctrl plus v2 paste so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to hold down my shift key then you select it's together with the rent angle and apply your vertical alignment to centralize it okay now i'm going to select these two then while using my arrow key then to bring it down okay so having greater this one now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going back to my test document and i'm going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to the ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to reduce the character spacing by closing it by 80 or 100 percent is okay now I'm going to drag it over here and I will increase the font size so I will increase the font size like this so now what I'm going to do now on this one I'm going to apply a text effect on this text so on this gospel so I'm going back to my blending option and over here then I will select this one bevel and emboss so ensure that it's under smooth then and over here then I'm going to leave the depth at 63 and the size on this one then I'm going to leave it this way so just leave the setting the way it is here then and i'm going to select satin also this satin i'm going to leave the setting just as it is and the outer glow i'm going to use the same setting as it is here and the drop shadow then i'm going to use the same setting as you can see over here so the next thing now that i'm going to click on okay then on the test here i'm going to make use of extra board then to get something like this all right now so what i'm going to do now the next things i'm going to do now i'm going to a glory so I'm going to select the glory now then go to your blending option then select your bevel and emboss so on this one then I'm going to make the I'm going to make the depth 63 and the size I'm going to make use of 
then I'm going to change the size of uh, gospel to this same size over here. So after I'm done with this one, then now I'm going to apply stroke on this one. And the stroke here, I'm going to change the, the gradient to color and I'm, I'm going to change it to red. So the color is going to be red and the size of this stroke is going to be 8 so I'm going to leave it like this and the position I will leave it outside and the blending mode I'm going to leave it normal then the satin you can see here yeah, so I'm going to use the same setting on this satin without changing changing any thing right so the same satin over here is the same i'm using and uh, also i'm going to the outer glow and i'm i will also use the same setting of this outer glow and the shadow now then i'm going to change the setting of this shadow the the distance i'm going to use here is going to be nine why my spread is going to be 7 and I will leave the size by 10%. Okay, so now I'm going to click OK on that. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drag this glory to be at the top of gospel. So then I will have something like this. So on this gospel, I'm going back again to change one setting over here. So on the size here, I'm going to change the size to 109. So this is the size I'm going to use, 109. Then I'll click OK. Then click on it and I'm going to reduce the character spacing over here to, to 80 to minus 80. Then click on OK. So I'm going to make use of 80. So over here now then you can now see the outcome of the test okay so we proceed so now the same shadow i apply on this one so the same shadow i also apply to also to this one day so on this test now i'm going to increase the size of it so something like this then use your arrow to bring it down why the team i'm going to reduce the size a little it's okay then zoom out to see the outcome of it then now i will also going to zoom in to continue all right then the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to create a rent angle over here like this and I will change the color to red then apply layer mask select my gradient tool and I'm going to blend it this way something like this then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this one fishery ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste so i'm still using i'm going to use the font this capable then capable loving personnel so this is the font i'm going to use 
Now I'm going to reduce the size and now we position it around here, reduce the size. So the next thing now I'm going to do, I'm going back to my test document and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste. So over here now I'm going to change the font to railway. And change this one to medium. Now reduce the font size and drag it up over here. So I'm going to reduce the font size more. Then I'm going to select this test over here, then using my arrow key then to bring it backward. All right, then I reposition this one. Then also use your arrow key then to position it well. Okay. So having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to So come over here, back of this one, then, and I'm going to make use of this polygon tool. Then over here, then you can see the shape here. So then I apply the number of 20. So then I'm going to reduce this number from 20 to something like maybe 16. It's okay. Then I'm going to draw a polygon while holding my shift key then you are going to have something like this now i'm going to change the color to this red over here and i'm going to reduce the size then you drag it over here So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate it down this way. Then select it all. Then I will drag it to the top over here. Now I'm going to then convert it to smart subjects so now you can see the outcome of it all right so the next thing now i'm going to do is the date and the time so for the date and time before continue then i'm going to to group this one together so I'm going to group this one together. Ctrl plus G to group. And this is for the fissuring. And this one over here, then I'm going to group it together. So there, here is the team. Now, I'm going to copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then change the font to railway and make it semi bold. Now we drag it over here and reduce the size. Then I will come back over here and I'm going to bring my icon for time and date. Then reduce the size.
hold your control key plus U for hue and saturation. Then I'll drag this one over here to apply white background. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, control plus J to duplicate. And I will bring it down while holding your shift key. Then go back to your test. And I will copy this one, control plus C to copy. Then select your test to highlight it. Then control plus V to paste. Select this one, highlight it, then come over here and then apply super script. Then I'm going to click OK. Now, what I will do is to increase the size of it. Then use your arrow then to move it up. Increase the size. OK. Now I'm going to zoom out to see how it will come out so now as it is then i'm going to select the test hold your shift key while you select this one then i'm going to increase the size of it then i'll click ok then on this logo i'm going to increase the size as well then i'll position it over here then click ok so the next thing now i'm going back to my test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate it. then you drag it up and then bring it down now select your test tool highlight it and then ctrl plus v to paste increase it a little then now go back to your test here and I'm going to open the character spacing. Then I will leave it like this, alright, as 420%. Okay, so having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then and I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it up. And now hold your Shift key while you drag it over here. Then select your test to highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. And on this one, I'm going to use Medium. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Hold your shift key while you bring it down now highlight it ctrl plus a to highlight then i'm going to copy this one and ctrl plus v2 paste then you will have something like this then i'm going to reduce the size of this one then go back to my dates and time and I will select it then click over here and I'm going to increase the size so that it will be on the same level together then on this icon I will reposition it this way okay then on my text here then I'm going to select the text and the polygon tool and I will increase the size like this then I'll click OK all right so having done this one now then the next thing I'm going to do is to group these ones hold your shift key while you select it then I'm going to group it and here is the date and time so date and time now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to import this icon for my location then reduce the size then you position it around here then i'll click ok ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag this one to apply white background color then come over here then to copy 
your location, then Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Alright, then ensure that the character spacing is zero. Now I'm going to reduce the font size. Then you bring it over here, reduce it. Okay, so what I will do now, I'm going to select this one and I will group it together. Then this will be my location. Then Ctrl plus A to select all, then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now the last thing I'm going to do is to create another rent angle at the bottom over here. Then on this rent angle now, then what I will do, then I'm going to then change the color. But before then, I'm going to hold on for now because I'm going to get a color from the background I'm going to grade. Then after this one, I'm going to my test document and I will copy this test over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool and I'm going to paste the test. Now I'm going to reduce the font size. Then I'm going to position it over here for now. Then click OK. Then select your test tool and then change the background. I mean the font color to black reduce the font size then over here i'm going to select press ctrl plus a then apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect now use your arrow key then to arrange it okay then ctrl plus zero to fit it to page all right so this is the outcome of it so over here i'm going to group this one then and for my location then i'm going to use my arrow key then to bring it down this way now we are going to the background now and over here is my heading so then i'm going to group it together now we are going to the background now to the background now we are going to set up the background as you can see so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to my resource file now so what i will do over here now i'm going to bring this one then i will position it at the top over here then i'll click ok then drag it down over here and I'm going to change it to screen then this is what I will have over there then the next thing I'm going back to my resource file and I'm going to bring this image over here then I'll drag it down so on this one I'm going to position this image around here then I will scale it out something like this okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to change it to screen also then the opacity i'm going to reduce the opacity to 49 percent then apply layer mask select your gradient to and I'm going to blend the top here. Then click on OK. Then come back to this background. And the other one I'm going to bring down. Then go back to your, to your test. I mean to your resource file. And I'm going to bring this one over here. Then I will position it. As you can see the way it is now.
then I'll click OK. Then, as you see, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blending mode to lightning. So why I'm choosing lightning? When you I select screen, then you can see the differences between screen and the lightning. So and you can see others. So I will prefer to choose this lightning over here. So now apply your layer mask, then select your gradient tool, and now we blend the top here a little, little. Then the bottom here, I'm going to blend it going to blend it so this way now I will click OK to drop this one then the present over here then I'm going to use my arrow key then to move it up something like this so now I'm going to click on this present and I'm going to bring it down this way Then increase the size a little, a little. It's okay this way. All right then, and I'm going to change it from medium to semi bold. All right. Now on my heading over here, then I'm going to change it from medium to semi bold. Then I'll click OK. Then close it over here. Then Ctrl plus zero then to fit it to page zero. Now you can see the outcome of it. So on this one, I'm going to leave the team here. Then I'm going back to my team subject. Then I'm going to use this arrow key then to move it up this way. Move it up this way. Then click on this team here then to bring it down like this and on this one i'm going to also adjust this one here the fissuring and the test i mean the date then i'm going to take it up this way now i'm going to select the team then open it and now we increase this one over here then now we increase it like this then I'll click OK so the last thing I will do now then is to group the background So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for following. If you like this video, please subscribe. Then and don't forget to share. Share it so that others will also see it. And if you want to order for any of my graphic design, then there is a link in the description. Then go through the Fiverr account then and make your order to purchase any of my graphic design. If you want to optimize your YouTube channel, there is a link of TubeBuddy in the description. Then you can also create an account and optimize your YouTube channel or any other social media channel. Also, if you want to create a Fiverr account, there is a link in the same description. Then you can go through it then and then create your own Fiverr account. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.